Let's see now an example that hopefully can be slightly useful. Let's assume that you have a file like this. Okay, it has lines. In each line you have numbers, like 23, 34, uh, with spaces in between them. And uh, that's it. And our task is to count digits. So we don't count numbers, we count the digits. We count how many times the 2 appears, how many times the 3, and how many times the 4, and so on. So we can have, we have basically 10 counters from 0 till 9. The natural way to keep these numbers is to have an array, an array of counters. So that's what we are going to have here. This is the code. We are going to have a counter, an array, it's called count, which is empty at the beginning. And, at the, and uh, in the index 0, we'll count how many times 0 appeared. And in index 1, we're going to count how many times 1 appeared, and so on. So the first thing we uh, do is we get the, the file name from the command line. So you would run this script uh, providing the name of the, the data file on the command line. Or die, so if the user doesn't give the, the name of the file, then we'll explain to him that he should. Then we open the file, or die, that's just the standard thing, what we have been doing so far. And then we loop over the whole uh, file, line by line. So this is the loop while loop. This is the outer while loop that we read in a line. And then we deal now with one single line. First of all, we jump off at the end, the new line at the, from the end, because we don't want to count that. Then we use split to cut up the string into characters. We could do different things to, to go over character by character the whole line, but uh, in case in this case what we did is we split it up using two slashes just one after the other, so there's no space in between them. This is a sort of a special case of split, though I've never really th thought about it being a special, is just cutting the line, the string, everywhere where there is nothing. So between every two character it will cut the line, and uh, so what will you get back here is a list of list of characters. Now the characters here, if you go back, are the two, the three, the space, the three, the four. So the each digit and the space that we can have here, and, and we assume that this is all that we have in the file, so we don't have any other garbage or uh, characters that are uh, for our purposes garbage. So in this characters array, you will have either digits, either numbers, digits, or space characters. So now we can go over the characters and with this for each loop, $c will uh, go over each one of the characters and of course in this list of characters there can be several duplications of the same character and we want to count them. So that's the point. Then here we check whether this C is different from the space because that's the only character here that we don't want to count so we say that if it's not a space then it's obviously one of the digits well that's that's our assumption and then we say okay that's easy now dollar c is let's say the digit three and we want to count it at the index three of the count array so we can take this take the count array at the index three or whatever dollar c contains and increment by one because we just saw a digit three so you don't have to do anything special you just increase the counter at the right spot and obviously as you remember the count started out as an empty array but we don't care because Perl has what we call auto vivification that will automatically grow the array to the required size so if let's say we start with what was we start we started with two so the array was at the beginning empty, and then we reached the first digit 2, then it was trying to add, do plus plus on the second, on element 2 of the array. It will immediately enlarge the array to have three elements, element 0, which will be undef, element 1, which will be undef, and element 2, that starts out as being undef, but because of the plus plus, it immediately grows to 1. You might recall in uh, some of the pre previous chapters, I mentioned that undef, when it's uh, in a numerical operation, it behaves as if it was a zero. 
So zero plus plus gets you one. So that's way that's the way the first time we encounter uh, a digit, it will automatically jump to become one, and so on. When you reach uh, when you find a two again, then this will be already one, and then it will be incremented to two, and that's the whole thing. So this is the whole script that will count all the digits, and then here we can use this uh, piece of code to print out the result. We go over all the possible digits from 0 to 9, that's the for each loop. $i is always one of the potential digits. We print out the digit itself, and then we print out using the ternary operator, if you recall. This is the condition, so the condition is whether there, yeah, there was any appearance of that digit. That's going to be true then. If there was, then we print out the actual number. Otherwise, we print out zero. If we just if we weren't using this, we were just printing out it, the value itself. Then, first of all, we would get an und uh, a warning because of the undef because we are trying to print out an undef. But even if we disregard that uh, uh, that warning, we would get a report with the digits on the left hand side and on the right hand side some numbers where there were digits and some empty slots without any, any, any value in there. And that looks suspicious. So if you provide that as a report, people will immediately think that there is a bug. On the other hand, if you put in a zero there, indicating that there was no such digit, then it will be much nicer, it will be clear that you're not missing something, you, were just, you just didn't have any of those digits.